after the death of Nijar. The United States, supposedly, according to New York Times, provided some background intelligence to Canada. But it wasn't the smoking gun. It's all the more strange, again, if the United States provided some context. Remember, that context could be that there is gang warfare within the Sikh community, especially after the murder of Rapudaman Singh Malik, who Nijar was accused of having a hand in. And we had similar things in Sacramento, California. We didn't blame a foreign power. The words that have come forward from Blinken, from from other people uh, saying that they take the allegation seriously. How do you view those words, given that Canada is a neighbor? Uh, there's no outright condemnation from any of the five I nations. And do you believe that to be the reason? Because Canada is the real irritant in their midst right now? Well, when we look at Secretary Blinken's words, he's basically being as neutral as possible. The United States is going to take any allegation seriously. It's a way of saying something without saying something. Oh. At the same time, the nature of the Five Eyes partnership is you share intelligence, but the reason why you share intelligence among the Five Eyes is because you can trust each of those countries about how to handle intelligence, meaning you don't expose it unnecessarily, especially in a way that might force the exposure of sources and methods. In this case, Justin Trudeau hasn't seemingly, um, he, he's exposed for very superficial reasons the intelligence um, without actually suggesting that there is something there. I mean, let me put it this way. Justin Trudeau is setting us down a trajectory in which we are not going to trust Canadian handling of intelligence well, simply because he seems to be using the intelligence for political gain. There's nothing from what we hear in the intelligence that seems to be a smoking gun. What happened is after the death of Nijar. The United States supposedly, according to New York Times, provided some background intelligence to Canada, but it wasn't the smoking gun. The smoking gun was developed by, by uh, the Canadian security services. So if Canada wants to come be forthright with um, what they have and why they believe it's definitive, be my guest, but leave the rest of the five eyes out of it. Let's talk about Canada's double standards on terror. Uh, you know, there is there is um, the death or the murder, rather, of, of an activist that we just heard about, a Baloch activist, where there is an in, there is an investigation, ongoing investigation going on. Uh, the police, Canadian police is involved and there is talk of Pakistani government's involvement in that, but not a word on that, but on India's complicity or the India so-called Indian involvement in the death or in the killing of Nijar, uh, where there's no evidence that is there in the public domain, at least. He's gone on to his parliament to say those very big words. Uh, do you believe that to be a sort of a double standard as far as terrorism is concerned? Well, it's a double standard. It's a politicization of the process. Look, in both cases, the proper process under Canadian law is for whatever intelligence is there, to be given to the Royal Canadian Police, um, and the police would do the investigating. The reason for that is the intelligence is often simply um, not up to evidentiary standards. And so it's a hint, it's a lead, it's a tip upon which the police can act. This is why it's so strange that um, Justin Trudeau went forward with these accusations on the floor of the parliament it's all the more strange, again, if the United States provided some context. Remember, that context could be that there is gang warfare within the Sikh community, especially after the murder of Rapudaman Singh Malik, who Nijar was accused of having a hand in. This simply could right. have been a tit-for-tat violence. And we had similar things in Sacramento, California. The difference is in Sacramento, we rolled up the gangs to stop the violence. We didn't blame a foreign power.